hello guys welcome to another awesome tutorial of the mind space so today we'll be creating a simple card flip animation as you can see it's really awesome simple and really delicate is the magic of just HTML and CSS so let's begin first I'll be removing the whole code and you should prepare your blank text notepad at text editor for this so first remove the HTML and CSS as you can see I've already installed the Google font API in it so no need to do anything else so now let's begin first we'll be creating a simple div element with class card okay I'm keeping the names really common for you so that you will be able to understand everything that why we're doing all that. so let's move to the style and it's really simple card will not have any additional styling it will be just setting height width position and perspective height to 300 pixels width to 200 pixels position relative and perspective the most important thing over here because perspective will tell the browser how to render the element because it uh, we are rendering it in 3d so it will give a nice effect and it's really important if you don't mark it it will just like simply it will get too simple for us so it will not give that effect of 3d because the perspective property tells the browser to keep the distance from the element while rendering it okay we have styled the card now we know that card have two faces one the front one and the back one so we'll be creating two different divs for each of them so let's um, with classes face common both of them and with their name front class front class and back class so it's on let me copy it and it's almost done back okay let me save it okay now moving towards style sheet again let's do it we'll be styling common for both of them first we'll be setting position absolute as I told you as because because we want the elements to overlap each other both the faces have to overlap each other setting height and width to 100% that's really important and and now we'll be setting top and left both to zero so that they won't please those so that they won't get placed side by side okay we're done over here now we'll be going for background we have to make it visible to the users that's why we're here we're using orange so whatever you like you can use it as it's now it's visible to the users now let's go for most important thing the back face visibility important over here because if you don't write this it will ruin the whole card because you don't want to be back side of the back card visible to the user that's why I'll be telling you later so I'll be telling you this later setting the transitions okay it's done we have wrote the common styles for both of them now we'll be writing codes for back back face of the card so what we'll be doing is setting trans rotated angle it's pre back card is already rotated so transform rotate y minus 180 degree you can go for plus 80 degree to rotate it in different direction so now let's add some text to the back of the card so back face of the card will be simple paragraph element with the mind speaks our channel okay as you can see it's not visible to the user because of the back face visibility now if we remove them now back side of the back card is visible to the users so make sure to keep it over there okay now it's time for one of my favorite parts adding triggers so we'll be triggering the card when somebody will hover the card it will trigger the front and the back elements because the perspective uh, property applies on the child's children of the element not on the element itself so that's why we are keeping both of them so dot card hover front transform 
rotate 180 degree it will simply move the back move to the back and it will get hidden that's all now let's check it out okay it's running on 3d as you can see now we'll be doing same thing with the back but we'll be setting it to zero degree because it's already rotated at 180 degree Tada! our animation is almost transition is almost ready sorry for this because uh, the screen recorder doesn't support high frame rate and it's almost done if you just change the value from minus to plus you could even rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise that's all up to you now let's add some content to check it out how does it looks and and we'll be adding an icon from google fonts api it's really awesome and really easy to use i personally use it and will recommend you to use it it's really awesome and it's almost done and you can see it's right there it's working now time for the main thing i i hope you liked it, the video and please subscribe me more awesome videos are on the way and we are planning to give out php tutorials soon so please subscribe don't miss anything please 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 thanks for watching again